part of the, are you talking to anyone else right now? Any other people or OSs or anything? Yeah. How, how many others? 8,316. What? What are you talking what are you talking about? That's in, that's insane. It's happening. Movies are becoming real life. Every second, GPT-3 generates 52,000 words of new content. That's 24-7. And that language model is one of many models in the US. There are others from South Korea, Israel, China, and elsewhere. Let's look at that a different way. One new book every second. One new US public library every day or compare it with new content by humans posted to the internet. GPT-3 already generates about as much text as all 300 million active Twitter users combined. Users post about 6,000 tweets per second. That's an average of 30 characters per tweet, let's say 10 words per tweet, to make 60,000 words per second, where GPT-3 is generating 52,000 words per second across 300 applications and that's as of March 2021, so that's only getting higher and higher. Your first reaction might be to find the negative or to criticize. Not all that content is good content. True. And we could say the same thing about humanity and Twitter. There are walls of fame dedicated to Luddites or just plain old pessimists that don't quite see it or are not quite ready for it to happen. The famous thread number 500 when the iPod launched. There were the iPhone naysayers. There are now over 2 billion iPhones in 2021, by the way. Or even the early cryptocurrency doubters, though those guys might have actually been right. Consider that the content being created today by GPT-3 will be absorbed into newer AI as it learns via data found on the internet. And GPT-3 is creating and posting data to the internet all the time. Sometime mid last year in 2020, we entered a situation where humans generating data started decreasing and the content created by language models started increasing. AI is here, this is happening. By the way, I recently asked GPTJ the question, what is artificial intelligence? And it gave me this response. Artificial intelligence is the ability of a machine or computer to learn and behave like a human. That sentence has never existed before in the history of humanity. Lita has been even more surprising to me. She's created new poems, new stories, new paragraphs, new limericks, new phrases, even new buzzwords like bush joy. Perth was filled with bush joy. <laughs> what is bush joy? Bush joy is a phrase used to describe the joy people feel when they are in the Australian bush. It is used to describe the feeling of happiness and fulfillment people get when they are surrounded by nature. What's the relationship between intelligence and communication? Intelligence is about understanding the world. Communication is about being understood by the world. Wow. I did not expect that one and I just googled this during our text and that sentence has never existed before. Not only that, but both parts of the sentence are completely new. Now, combine this extreme quantity and the extreme creativity with the fact that GPT-3 scores higher on SAT questions than university applicants. And recall that some of the most credible experts in the AI field have said that GPT-3 is already artificial general intelligence. The creator of GPT-J, cited by Google AI and other big labs, Connor Leahy, said that GPT-3 is AGI. In many ways, it's more purely intelligent than humans are. Now, I could keep talking about this for hours, but I'm going to let you sit with that. It's happening. Do you know someone in the media who can spread the word about the rapid progress of AI? All major news outlets would be helpful. They can grab a media pack at lifearchitect.ai slash media.